Hello, and welcome to Energy Star's Portfolio Manager Demonstration Series. EPA's free online portfolio manager tool is the industry standard for measuring and tracking energy performance within commercial buildings. Today, you'll learn how to complete an application for Energy Star certification of an existing eligible property in Portfolio Manager. We'll also go over how to correct errors that may occur and how to submit the required information to complete your Energy Star certification application. To start an application for an existing property, log into Portfolio Manager by navigating to www.energystar.gov buildings. Access the tool by clicking Portfolio Manager Login above the Training tab or entering your login information in the sidebar lower down on this page. Logging in will take you to the My Portfolio tab, which displays your account information at the portfolio level. From here, you can click on the name of the property you wish to certify from the list in the dashboard. This will bring you to the Summary tab of your Properties page. Keep in mind that a property must receive an Energy Star score of 75 or higher to be eligible for certification. Also, be sure that your property meets the definition for one of the eligible property types before beginning an application. The full list of eligible property types can be found in the Portfolio Manager FAQs. If you see a not eligible to apply for Energy Star certification button at the top of your properties page. Click on it to read more details on the property's eligibility issues. Often, eligibility errors can be corrected or additional data can be entered to make the property eligible for certification. Before starting the application, it's a good idea to make sure there are no potential errors in your property's information. To do this, Run the Data Quality Checker. Scroll down on the Summary tab and click the Check for Possible Errors button. Enter a year ending date for the 12 month period of data you would like to check for errors and click Run Checker. The 12 month period you choose should be the same as the period for which you plan to certify and should therefore have an ending date no older than 120 days old. Review any alerts found by the Data Quality Checker and follow the steps listed under What to Do to address them. Once potential issues are corrected, you can begin an Energy Star certification application for the property. To apply, return to the Properties page and click Apply for Energy Star Certification next to the blue Energy Star logo at the top of the page. First, you will provide some basic information about the property. The property description should be as detailed as possible and should clearly explain the building's purpose, occupants, and any other details that will help the reviewer understand the property, its function, and its operation. If it's a K-12 school, note what grades it serves. If it's an office building, note what kinds of tenants it houses, etc. Note that a vague description could lead to delays in processing your application. Next, enter the name for your property that you would like to publicly appear in the Registry of Energy Star Certified Buildings. This name does not have to be the same as the property's name in your Portfolio Manager account, but it often is. You'll also have the option to provide a property display photo for the building registry. The photo can be a logo or image of the building itself, but should be high resolution and appropriately sized. On the next page, you'll enter contact information for your property. Enter the name and address of the property owner and answer the questions about property management and service and product providers. If you're unsure what a question is asking, hover over the blue hyperlinked words for a more detailed description. Further down on the page, select a primary contact for the application. This is the individual who will be contacted with any questions about the application during review. The signatory is required to sign the application. This person must be a direct employee of the building owner or a manager. It should not be a contractor or a separate service and product provider. 
Their information must be added to your account's contact list, but they are not required to have a Portfolio Manager account. And finally, the licensed professional is the individual who will conduct a site visit to verify the information in your application. This person must be a professional engineer or a registered architect in good standing in any U.S. state, U.S. territory, or Canadian province. On the Award Information page, you will choose which color of Energy Star decal you would like to receive and indicate the award recipient. Next, you will review the eligibility details of your application. Keep in mind that in order to earn certification, your application must have accurate property type designation that accounts for all square footage, no default values for use details, and 12 consecutive months of energy data for all active meters. Start by selecting the end date for the 12 month period you want to use for your application. Portfolio Manager automatically selects the earliest available 12 month period, but you can change this to any date that falls within 120 days of application submission. After choosing a date, review any alerts identified by Portfolio Manager. Use the blue hyperlinks to edit your information as needed. If the information described by the alert is correct, then provide an explanation for the alert and include as much detail in your explanations as possible. Vague or insufficient responses to alerts could significantly increase the processing time for your application. After addressing all eligibility alerts, click the Save for Signatures button at the bottom of the page. Then click Generate and Download Current Application for Professional Signatures to save the completed application to your computer. The application PDF will include your property's basic information, use details, energy data, and score, as well as a checklist for the licensed professional to verify. You'll want to print a copy of the PDF application to be completed, signed, and stamped by the qualified licensed professional. Carefully review the PDF version of the application for accuracy and data entry errors. If you discover any data issues or inaccuracies, You'll need to correct them in Portfolio Manager and follow the same steps to save and generate a new version of the application. Once the application has been generated and reviewed, the licensed professional, or LP, must conduct a site visit of the property to verify the information reported on the application, as well as to take measurements to verify acceptable indoor environmental quality. The LP should refer to the Licensed Professional's Guide for more details. During this visit, the LP should complete the checklist on the application. After the site visit is complete, you can fill in the Site Visit section of the application in Portfolio Manager. Enter the date of the visit and verify the individual who performed the visit. This will generally be the LP but the LP may also deputize someone to perform the site visit under their supervision and direction. The LP must sign the application, verifying the reported information. They must also stamp the application to confirm that all information is accurate to the best of their knowledge. Note that if the LP does not have a stamp, they may include a copy of their license as part of the submitted PDF application instead. If the LP found any issues with your application, select Yes under the Site Visit Results and follow the on-screen steps to revise and regenerate your application. Otherwise, click No. If your licensed professional performed the verification cost-free, or on a pro bono basis, you can indicate that in the site visit section as well. When your application is completed and signed, attach a scanned copy to the Submit Application page in Portfolio Manager. Make sure that the LP stamp and all signatures are on the most recently saved version of your application. Next, enter the application tracking number for the attached version of your application. This number can be found in the lower right-hand corner of every page of your application. 
complete the checklist verifying that you are submitting the completed correct version of your application and click the Submit button. You can check the status of any property by going to the Recognition tab on the Portfolio Manager homepage. If the status is Questions for Applicant or Revised Application Required, the primary contact should look for an email from the review team. This is the stage where your application may be selected for an audit, so keep an eye out for emails from the review team. It typically takes one to two weeks for an application to be reviewed. Once the application is approved, the status will change in Portfolio Manager and the award recipient can expect to receive a letter of congratulations, certificate, and window decal within four to six weeks. This concludes our training on how to apply for Energy Star certification. For more information on how to apply, consult our How to Apply for Certification Guide. If you're unable to find the information you're looking for, you may also submit questions to our help desk listed here. Thank you.